Hey guys, welcome back to Law Study Kit. Uh, I hope you're you're doing well and you're preparing for, for the upcoming NCA exams. Um, in this video, I wanted to talk about something very simple but extremely important, which is the NCA syllabus. I, I wanted to talk more about how to read the NCA syllabus. Now, again, it's, it's something that's very simple, but you want to make sure that you're reading the syllabus properly, trying to understand what what's important and then you take that knowledge and then you start preparing for for the courses so NCS syllabus should be the starting point uh, when when you prepare for any NCA course so in this video I wanted to talk about NCA constitutional law exam because uh, I believe that's one of the course that is offered in January 2021 so what I'll do now is I will share my screen and I will walk you through how I would read the syllabus and what are some of the things that I would pay close attention to, uh, what are some of the things that I would highlight, and how I will use the syllabus as a starting point. So if you are interested, um, keep watching. The Canadian Constitutional Law Syllabus in front of me. And like I mentioned that the first thing to do when you start preparing for any NCA course is to take a look at the syllabus. And when I say look at the syllabus, I really want you to read each and every word on the syllabus and highlight stuff that you think is important. So I am going to walk you through how I would read the syllabus and how I would use this as a starting point to prepare for NCA Canadian constitutional law. Now, the first page is uh, simple. <laughs> So we're, we're going to go on to the next page, and it has a lot of information. Now, when you're reading the syllabus, the first part talks about the scope of the course. So everything that, men everything that is mentioned here is very important because it will tell you what you can expect on uh, what you can expect in this course. So for instance, they will tell you the reading begins. So in part one, this is what you can expect. In part two of the readings, this is what you can expect. And then in part three of the course, this is what you will expect. Now, when I'm always reading um, the syllabus, I would like to highlight the, the, the act, the sections that are mentioned in the syllabus, just to, I mean, I would just think that these are important. I would just pay a little bit extra attention to all the sections that have been mentioned in the syllabus, not saying that this is exactly where you're going to be getting on the exam, but certainly something that you want to make sure that you understand. So I would just highlight most of the different sections. And again, this is what you will be expected to read. So this is the first thing I would do. Oops, okay. I highlighted it two times, but that's fine. Anyways, yeah. So. Scope of the course. The first part tells you that what you can expect. In part one, you know, you, you, you kind of get an introduction of what Canadian constitutional law is all about, overview of amending procedures, an introduction to, you know, federal nature of the Canadian state. And then moving on to part two is where you will expect to read about the Constitution Act. Um, you can read about the most important part of Constitution Act is Section 91 to 95, uh, which is what this course is, a lot of this course is about these uh, sections. And then we go on to the Canadian Charter, which is extremely important for this course. So this is the starting point. You kind of understand, okay, well, when I start reading or when I start making my notes, I mean, I would try to structure it exactly the same way this syllabus is structured. Part one, you know, this is what I read, part two, this is what I read, and then going on to part three. Now, then the syllabus goes on to tell you exactly what the examination is going to look like. So for instance, first of all, three hour open book exam, you got to know what you're getting yourself into. So now you know it's a three hour open book exam. Next, it tells you that, you know, your examination can consist of only problem questions or a mix of problem questions, sort short questions and essay questions. Extremely, extremely, extremely important because this is the examiner is literally telling you that this is what you can expect, to, uh, the type of questions that you could expect. So, I mean, this, okay, I'm just trying to use um, this right here. 
so important, really, really important part. I would just highlight it and read it a couple of times, okay? Now, the next section goes on to talk, uh, goes on to talk about typical problem. Like it, it's actually telling you if you get a problem question, what is a problem question going to look like, right? And it's telling you that you know it will assess. You will given, uh, you will be given a problem question which will assess you whether it is consistent with the provisions of the Constitution Act, and you know it will test your knowledge on ability to identify issues. All of this is so important. This is what the examiner is testing you on. So, again, if I were you, I would just highlight all of this. No, I don't need that. I need this. Okay. So, if I were you, I would just highlight this and I would just come on to this part again and again. Whenever you're answering the question, just come back to it and just see what the examiner really wants you to do. Okay. Now, it also tells you, you know, if you have lack of experience in answering the questions this way, where you identify constitutional issues, uh, apply the legal rules, and then apply the rules to the facts that are given in, in, in the question. If you don't have that experience doing that, let's just say you're from a civil background, you can definitely, you know, practice exam questions. And this is not something that I am saying. Uh, this is what the examiner is telling you. Should practice by testing themselves. So but if you're looking for sample examination, the examiner also tells you that many Canadian law schools have those exams. So like I told you, UBC Law Library, please go onto that library and try to practice as many questions as you can. Now, moving on. So it also tells you, you know, now we know that we can get problem questions, a mix of problem questions, short questions. So for instance, the examiner is telling you, you, you can expect to get short questions which could be true or false. So again, I'm, I'm not saying that this is exactly what you're going to be getting on the exam, but the examiner is saying that you can expect true or false. And it also gives you, um, you know, uh, uh, the type of question and that you can practice. I mean, the examiner is telling you that you, you can probably get a question like this and the answer you have to answer it whether it's true or false and then you want to make sure that you list the cases or wherever you got that information from and it also tells you here for instance if you get a sh if you're looking at um past exam questions and you get a short question now if you're wondering you know how i should answer that question you know you can still see that the examiner is saying the short question test whether candidates are critically engaged with the materials and have stated their own opinion. Oh my God. Okay, so I'm just highlighting it using PDF. Uh, you feel free to just download it and do it the way that I'm doing. It's entirely up to you. So, you know, if you don't know how to answer short essay questions, you can come back and read the syllabus. Now, moving on to the syllabus is the required readings. This is again, you know, something that you could read on your own. This is what the syllabus wants you to read. It also tells you, you know, you can the type of books that you can purchase, and if you want to access different legal resources, for instance, Canly, um, this is their website, or you want to um, look at something else, uh, for instance, you can look at this 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 website. You know, there, there are a whole bunch of resources that are mentioned on the syllabus that sometimes you, you just don't realize you just read it as if you just want to read okay let me just go here but the first couple of pages are extremely important and you want to make sure that you read all of it now there's one more thing that i wanted to just highlight here that so this part i think that that's really important because this is what the examiner wants you to develop an understanding of. So you should have an understanding of the basic principles of Canadian constitutional law that starts with the text of Constitution Act. So again, Constitution Act, extremely important. When you're even using, when you're trying to use the Act on the exam, you want to tell the examiner the sections that you're using or how you're interpreting the section. So um, this is something that's extremely important. Now, the rest of the syllabus, I... I trust that you can you're able to read it because again these are just um, resources that you want to read but the first part I feel like 
when I started reading uh, constitutional law, I kind of skipped it in the beginning. And then I had just I just had to go back to it and be like, oh, OK, so I should have read it, read this at the start of uh, when, whenever I'm trying to prepare for this course. So make sure that you are reading the syllabus, the first. Not even the third, the first two pages, extremely important highlight what you think is important and always come back to the syllabus if you don't understand you know how to answer a question what is it that examiner really wants you to do so i hope that this was helpful as you can see that the examiner is really telling you to practice exam questions if you are looking for sample exam questions and answers uh, feel free to check out law study kit i will link it down below um, i have drafted some questions and answers myself so if you're interested uh, feel free to check it out but good luck on the exam uh, make sure that you always, always start uh, preparing for any NCA course by reading the syllabus. If this was helpful to you, uh, I don't mind doing this for other courses as well. So please let me know in the comment section below if you'd like me to do this for other NCA courses. Uh, thanks guys for watching. Uh, I hope you have um, a wonderful uh, week.